What the heck is going on here? Hi, I'm Kathy. And this is Steve. In 2019, we started planning our retirement and realized that we both wanted to travel and see the U.S. in an RV. So we started our adventure with Fate Fortune Fun. We packed up our fun mover and started planning weekend adventures and vacations to learn more about the RV lifestyle. Please subscribe and click the notification button so you can follow us as we continue this journey to retirement and beyond. You've made a mess. Look at the concrete. You got a funnel sticking out of the water heater. What's going on? Well, we had a leak. Yes, as Steve said, we had a leak. Um, we were staying in Vero Beach, and I got up to walk the dog in the morning, and we had a puddle under the RV. So, of course, after we panicked and freaked out and turned the water off and scratched our head a bit, we went off and had some fun. With our cute little ladybug here, which you're seeing right now, showing you some ladybug cuteness. But then when we got back, we tried to figure out what was happening. We ended up doing nothing about it while we were traveling because we knew we would be home the next day and have some time to do some research. Steve's thought immediately was there was a problem with the pressure release valve and went ahead and bought a new one. While he was doing that, as he's about to tell you, I looked up and I found the owner's manual for our water heater. We have an Atwood water heater, and I believe it is six gallons. What we found out is that weeping and dripping from the pressure release valve while it's running is normal, and it can happen. It doesn't mean that there's a problem with it. What it does mean is that you've lost the air expansion pocket. So I'll insert an image here as I'm talking, now that I'm sure you've seen enough ladybug cuteness. And what happens is there should be an air pocket at the top of your water heater. And when that, when that goes away through the heating and cooling of the water or the heating of the water because, you know, H2O, water will weep out of your release valve. And it's a pretty simple fix. And you don't have to run out and get parts. And it just takes a moment of time. The biggest thing is you do need to turn off the water heater and let the water cool down so you don't burn yourself. So you turn off the water heater, you turn off the water supply, you make sure your water pump isn't on, you make sure your, your water's cool enough you don't burn yourself, and then you open the water faucet, the hot water faucet in your coach, the one that's the closest to the water heater. In our case, it was the kitchen. Then you pull the handle of the pressure release valve, and water's going to come out of it. And you just let that water flow until it stops, when the water stops, you put the you close up the water release valve and you turn the water back on and ta-da, you're done. Or you close your faucet, obviously, and then ta-da, you're done. And that will reinsert that air expansion pocket. And so it's a pretty easy fix. In the end, if it doesn't fix your problem, no harm, no foul. You haven't caused any additional issues. And you also haven't, you know, run out and bought parts that you may or may not need. As you see in the rest of the video, as I read the owner's manual, because he will also make fun of me for reading the owner's manual, you will see that we found out that there is um, a way to clean that water heater and that you should be doing this fairly regularly. Obviously, read your owner's manual and find out what your owner's manual recommends. So that's what we're going to show you for the next of this video, the rest of the rest of the steps that we used to do some maintenance on our water heater. Never knew that we needed to do. <laughs> she is a magician at finding things. And she found the owner's manual and read it. What guys read an owner's manual? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and I never knew there was maintenance to do on a water heater. How'd I miss this all these years? Come to find out to clean out the inside, you put in four gallons of white vinegar. And some water, right? And yes. Then you fill the rest up. Because it's a six, six gallon tank, it takes four gallons of vinegar and two gallons of water to fill it. 
then you turn the heater on and let it go for I don't know 24 48 hours then you drain it what you see here is that Steve added the vinegar in through the pressure release valve opening since we went ahead and ordered a new part we decided to go ahead and use the new part versus the old part just because we're saving the old part as a backup part in case there's a problem once this was installed and the water heated up several times we drained and cleaned the water tank and everything is functioning as normal we hope you enjoyed this video and keep following us along and see what other things we learn as we go through this journey. 